What's up everyone, Coach Laxball here. Today's gonna be a real short video because I wanna tell you about my experience with Armor Mesh. But first, before we start with Armor Mesh, we gotta remind ourselves, we dyed this stick, I think it was about a year ago. I mean, ain't she pretty? Look at those colors. And finally, 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 look at that, it is finally strong and I love this thing. I got it strung up over at Lacrosse Plus. Shout out to Dave over at Lacrosse Plus. Awesome guys in Harrisburg. Go check them out if you're in the local area. Really awesome to work with and talk to and just fun guys to begin with. But I got some sweet armor mesh from the dudes over at Armor Mesh. And look at this stuff. This is just cool. This is the Pegasus. So they've got a couple different brands. They got spider wire and Pegasus. Pegasus, I believe, is a little bit thicker. Spider wire is a little bit thinner. But this material is awesome i mean just the way the ball's gonna flow in here it like all works together it's almost like chain mail it's it's cool i mean it mesh has its place and it's worked and it's worked and it's worked for years but i don't feel like it flows as well as this does some of the really cool things about this armor mesh is it's handmade it's literally made off of handmade process. I believe they use a loom. There's only a few people that can make this. It's not batched off of some machine getting lots of product. It is handmade in the USA. That's pretty awesome. It's also 10 times stronger with strength to weight ratios, 10 times stronger than steel. What? That's crazy. And it's hydroponic, hydrophobic, hydro, no, that's so many, it's afraid of water. Hydro, hydroponet, let's look that up. By the way, if you haven't been to armormesh.net, that is how you're gonna pick yourself up one of these sweet dudes right here. Armormesh.net is hydrophobic. Hydrophobic. I, I thought that would be a different word. Maybe not. 100% hydrophobic, which I believe means it's very good in water, which you know what? When it's raining outside and you got your mesh and it dries up and it's terrible, well, this is gonna last longer because of those hydrophobic properties. Hydrophobic? Is it really hydrophobic? I don't know. So there you go. This thing is incredibly lightweight. It's strong. It's resistant to water. It floats on water. I mean, this is going to be a pretty cool product, especially because we're all used to being outside in the elements. So I'm looking forward to using this. So I'm going to throw a shaft on this and we're going to go outside and rip some shots and see if we like it. So cue the montage. All right, so first impressions, I mean, I, like I said before, I just love how the stuff, it's, it's like the stick's made for the ball now. It's not just a ball happens to go in the stick, but like, it just hugs it so nice, so nice. Um, I could probably use a little bit more whip. I'm used to a little bit more whip. I mean, coming out, it was thrown a little higher than I like, but I'll tell you what, do you see that consistency? Sting in top corner after top corner. I mean, I knew exactly where it was going within like a few inches every single shot, so I'd love that about it. It was absolutely consistent every time. Holds there, it's a little bit slippier than I expected it to be. It just feels a little slippier, but I mean, it's there. You can do whatever you want with it. You know, if you know how to handle a stick, this is just gonna amplify your game. So I, I love everything about it so far. It's been fantastic. Like I said, I'd probably string it up with a, with a shooter maybe. Um, originally didn't want to go with a shooter, but I could maybe add one just because it's what I'm used to. I just need a little bit more whip in it, but gosh, I mean, it looks cool. It works. I think it's worth a try. So make sure you get out to armormesh.net, get yourself a pair, hit up your local string shop. I am not a stringer by any imagination. So if you don't know how to string, certainly go check that out. There are some stringing tutorials out here on YouTube, I do believe. So you can check those out as well. But um, yeah, as far as playing with it, I mean, I played with it and there's a few other pros if you wanna believe them. Check out armormesh.net to grab yourself a pair and stick around, subscribe to this channel because I think we're gonna upgrade this bounce back very soon. Oh yeah, don't forget the little things. <laughs> 